guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anita, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a very short video, and in this video, I'm going to give you a small, small background from what prompted this video. So, I am a person who really uses Instagram a lot. Like, 90% of my data will be spent on Instagram because I love to see what the gram has for me but today I thought of something and I was like you know what I, I think I should ask my few followers you know to ask me a question and what they want to know about me but guess what I was scared I got scared all of a sudden I was like what if people don't ask me anything what if no one wants to know anything about me so I was like instead of going on the gram for that let me just go ask people who know me, people who are closer to me, people who I'm sure are going to respond. And uh, I went ahead to send some of my family and friends the idea and told them to ask me on WhatsApp. So they responded and those that responded, uh, I wrote down their questions and I'm going to be answering them right now. Okay, question number one. How do you take care of your hair, my hair? I get a lot of a lot of questions about that, but I don't do anything in particular. I wouldn't say do something in particular because I could I could honestly say my hair is just naturally beautiful in by its own by God's grace. But I'll show you the things that I normally use to wash my hair every time I'm doing it myself. If I'm not going to a salon to do that, these are the things I use. One, Dove Dove hair shampoo is what I use to wash. And then this is the leave-in treatment that I put in my hair to blow dry it and this is the protective lotion mega growth it's a lotion protecting my hair from the heat those are the things that I use when I don't go to the salon but if I go to the salon the salon guy can do whatever he wants with my hair yeah and the next question is why did you learn how to do your makeup my makeup I learned how to do my makeup majorly on YouTube and I got certified for a week my certification was a week study but otherwise I can say it off myself okay tell us about your YouTube journey my YouTube journey has apparently just started you guys thank you so much for your love and support thank you for ah, subscribing we're growing you guys we're growing and honestly I haven't even been posting as much as I should I apologize for that but thank you thank you my journey is so far so good I must say I was a bit scared when I was starting but all of a sudden I got this courage I was like you know what you will never do it if you just don't stop being scared and that's how the journey started and I have big plans for it I have big plans for all my subscribers big content coming up soon I tried to do a vlog last week and honestly it was an epic fail it was the ghetto you guys it was hard <laughs> so I hope to be doing all those things on my youtube channel and sharing with you guys everything next question is any advice to your fellow youth stay in school don't drink and drive do not drink at all if you're below 18 please give your life to christ jesus is the key okay don't waste your youthful time do things that are productive be hard working stay disciplined i have a lot to tell the youth you guys when i look back at my youthful life and i'm like okay this is a mistake i made i should have done this i feel like i should share it with the youth so the youth please listen to your elders listen to your people above you they might sound like they're mean or rude but they are helping you in the long run so stay in school don't drink and drive don't drink at all give your life to christ and most importantly hard work and discipline okay next questions what are your dreams my dreams hmm, what are my dreams i have so many dreams i just want to be an influencer i think i want to impact people's lives children help the needy i want to be successful i want to be of good influence to people i want to help people how many things have i said i just have so much on my on my on my on my to-do list on my achievements list okay next question is what do you, do you go out do i go out i definitely do go out i go i love praying as well i i go for funeral services every thursday i am a funeral person yes i am i i love going to the beach and relaxing my mind i love having small small getaways like over or on a weekend or something like that yeah i do go out i could say i i am a party anymore i'm not a party anymore next question is it true you quit your job for youtube quit my job for you guys family come on 
I didn't quit my job for YouTube. My contract ended. It was like an open window for me to open door for me to do something else. And since this was passion for me, I decided to just go ahead and do it. So I didn't really quit my job. I can never quit my job for YouTube. First of all, my YouTube channel is not a money-making channel. Okay, I'm not partnering with YouTube. Nothing. I'm just doing this for me, for to to share with the world the gift that God has given me to speak. Before. Okay, next question. When did you start doing your makeup? I started doing my makeup at quite a young age. I think the first time I did my makeup was in all level. Honestly, it wasn't like perfect or anything like that. I just had a thing for makeup. And I know some people find that as a bad thing. I don't think it's really a bad thing. It's good. Makeup is an art. It's good to let your children express their passions, their talents. It's a talent, you guys. For you to make someone look good on, a, on their wedding day, okay? It's so bad. So I started doing my makeup in all level. It became it became something I normally do after campus actually. When I finished campus I had a small small time on my plate. So I, I, I did a lot of YouTube. <clears throat> Before I got my job, I was doing YouTube. Even when I got a job, I was on YouTube and then after I got certified for a week and then after I was like next questions, would you love to be on TV? Would I love to be on TV? Hmm, let me see. I don't know. But like YouTube feels like I'm on TV, you know, because I'm literally presenting right now. But would I really love to do that for a living? Um, no. I used to want that when I was a young girl. But again, we must put into consideration that I was just a child who was obsessed and didn't know what really went down. So being on TV is not really anything fancy. I don't want to be on TV. But if I am invited as a guest to like present or because I've had some huge achievement that people were talking about girl is gonna be on tv okay i would be on tv for that but as a job tv presenter nada what is your biggest fear in life losing failure i don't like to fail and a person who fails is a person who gives up not a person things can go wrong but you personally you shouldn't fail don't give up if you give up you have failed so i love to push until like until i've gone through like i never give up mm -mm. that's not me that's that would never be me so my greatest fear if i give up on something whoosh child that would be really scary for me so nah. hmm is makeup something you plan to do forever hmm i don't know is makeup something i plan to do forever no i don't plan on doing makeup forever i have i have big dreams you guys i want to be a makeup mod mogul i want to produce i want to be in the production industry i want to produce merchandise i want to create my own brand you know i have a lot of dreams and makeup is not really going to be forever but it's a good start i love doing it um hmm. anything you'd love to do apart from makeup i think i've answered that be a makeup mogul be a ceo of a company brand my company you know i just want to be a successful woman y'all i want to be a successful woman i'm not gonna give up i'm not gonna stop working my heart until i achieve it okay yeah any more questions that i've left out no okay thank you guys for all of you who have sent in your questions my family my friends thank you so much guys let me down let me know down in the comment section below if you think this is a good idea to be put on instagram because girl how how big is my instagram story views i don't know i'll check next time but if it's big enough if i feel like it can do that then i'm gonna do it but for now you guys thank you so much for watching this very short video i hope you learned a thing or two and i'll see you guys in my next video if you're not subscribed please can you subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media handles instagram twitter and facebook and youtube subscribe please thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye